Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another fantastic day on planet Earth. Today I'm going back to Shugra because I'm testing this even more. I've had to do, I, I took the belly pan off and there was a couple of, um, a couple of bad wires, it's my own stupidity. Um, so I've had to redo those and I'm just testing to see how it goes. It was probably that off-road stint that I did. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do an off-road stint. Now, you may have noticed, oh, you won't, because I haven't done it yet. I'm going to put an overlay of the GoPro on the side, because I have it on the side, as per request from everybody else, and probably all you can see is my foot. But I can't put it anywhere else, unfortunately. That's, that's the only place it can go. And today, at round about uh, 10 o'clock, it's going to absolutely piss it down. They're going to have thunder, lightning and everything else. And it's only, what, 12 degrees this morning. So I've got to do my job and get back. I hope you can see what I mean about it skipping on the front wheel all the time, like that. Whenever you open it up. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, it's a railway bridge. My mate, Dave, the twat. Yeah, he did tell me, he said it's a railway bridge. And it is a railway bridge. I need to check to make sure. It's flashing, I don't know if it's recording. Can't see anything. I've noticed with these um, these glasses I've got. Number one, they steam up really, really quickly, and number two, they're polarized, so you can't see. New new phones with anything with UV protection. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Any I don't know polarized glass. That was it. Anything with polarized glass, you can't see with these bloody glasses. So I can't. I can't see me bleed me on me, me oh, fuck. I can't see my camera, me um I can see me fucking bollocks and shit. I can see my old phone, which is the one I use for my bike. Uh but I can't see my new phone with these glasses on. Uh, cattle grid, cattle grid, cattle grid, cattle grid, cattle grid, cattle grid. Didn't even feel it. Nobody else on the road at all. Just absolutely perfect going along the countryside. Eee. I hope this GoPro footage comes out alright because it's actually attached to me my, um, my drop out. So there's no suspension apart from the tyre. So it's probably going to be vibrating the shit out of it. What's down there? Can I get down there? I don't care. Ooh, I don't care I'm going. Oh, I've already done this, haven't I? Deja vu, anybody? Shit. Oh. oh. It doesn't say I can't. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, that's better. I think I'm going to get in trouble. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go for a tour outside Shugborough Hall. If I don't get arrested first. What can I go in on, huh? It goes this way. There you go, I've closed the gate, I am no longer breaking any laws. Ladies and gentlemen, Shukra Hall. I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> I don't think I should be in here. <laughs> Someone's going to come and nick me. <laughs> You're Nick, Sonny. Here, feel this. Your collar's been felt, son. And then I'll be in prison. 
and then I'll become somebody's sweet thing, and then I'll be married to a man called Mavis. And oh God, it's not worth the trouble. Photo opportunity, not a selfie. If you're on a nice, uh, nice relaxing walk with your missus, and you can bring her up here, and at the end of the day, you can chuck her in the river. Oh, ye oldie English. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I, mean, I shouldn't be down here for a start. I don't think. I don't know. Well, there's no, nothing that said no entry, so what are you worried about, Tan? I'm not worried. I don't worry. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> oh, during this journey, I'd like to answer a few questions of comments that people are, are leaving suddenly, and I don't know why. Uh, the first one was, I can't remember who it was from, and I'm not going to be, I can't be asked to find the comment itself, but it said, May I suggest that you take a CBT? A CBT will teach you all about road sense and about blah 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 blah. Fuck off. Do you know my experience and my history with motorbikes? I used to do 200 mile an hour around bloody Donington for God's sake. I used to have so many bloody motorbikes. That's interesting. Don't know what it is. It's a chair. Yeah, it's unreal. I, I, used, to, uh, I used to have so many bloody motorbikes. Down from the age of, ages of what, 15 I think? That was my first bike that my mum and dad don't know about, and they do now, um, but it was a, an RM125. Then I had a, a Honda CM250 I think it was. Uh, I enjoyed that because I liked the, the sit-up feeling. And then I had a Kawasaki KH250 triple. I'm going to go over this bridge, because it's another bridge, and it's blue. Blue bridges are always better. Oh, look at that. There's a swan down there, and he's asleep. Ooh. That's the mating call for swans. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I had one the other day. Um, off one of my regular commenters, and I don't really know if it had a drink or, or what the bloody hell was going on. But he said, your, your videos are becoming boring, mate. What? Without leaving any explanation of why it's becoming boring. It's becoming boring because you're talking shit. It's becoming boring because it's the same things day in, day out. Why? Why just say it's becoming boring and then just leave it like that? So I'm a firm believer of if you've got a problem, you better have an answer for it. And I'm not on about the, the, the proper answer, just an answer. It's becoming boring because I don't like it. Well, that's your personal opinion. I don't give a shit. It's up to you. Um, if you don't like it, don't subscribe. Just hit that. There's a little button down the, down the bottom right-hand side that says unsubscribe. Just go and click that and fuck off. And it's the same to all the people who just don't like the videos. You know, the keyboard warriors who just sit there and they've got nothing better to do but slag me off and say, you're going to die. I hope you die. You're a bastard. You should be locked up in prison. You've got no tax, no MOT, no insurance. You're breaking the law. Well, it's a matter of time before the police catch up on you. You're a rapist. And the same with you. That little button down the bottom right hand side, click it because it just says unsubscribe and you can fuck off and all. The lot of you can fuck off. That's the back end of Shugborough Hall. Oh, this is nice. This is just nice. You don't look another folly of some kind. Is my camera there? Yeah. I also had, um, is it a 450, the crack 450 triple? Um, was it a 450 or a 500 triple? I enjoyed that as well, although it nearly killed me quite a few times. So then I went and bought, bought an RD350 LC. <laughs> you know, the widow maker. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the house that I bought. I bought it off a man who didn't really want it, so he gave it me for tuppence. Um, it's just coming up here. 
uh, I've got a golf course and a tennis course and I'm really really fucking stuck up ho 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 shall I go knock on the door? hello can I come in for tea? I'm very thirsty please shut the gate I've closed the gate <coughs> there we go the gate's closed I bet you can't see a bloody thing with my foot there absolutely nothing what's that? See, they've got all these uh, bottle lodges around here. I think they're called bottle lodges. Where all the servants and, and, and well, I think probably just the important people used to live. Tower, Tower of the Winds. I've got a man walking down here. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to run away. Quick, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. You can't come round here. This is private grounds. You shouldn't be here. Go away now. Before I call the police. If I stick my foot out like that, you can see. Ow, no, can't do that. That hurts. Wheelie! What? Cows. Miserable bastards they are. Oh dear, what's that stuck up my arse? Oh dear, oh that's painful. I'm trying my hardest to keep my foot out of the way. I need a better solution and I really don't know where. I can't put it on the down, on the forks, on the stanchions or anything else like that. Where it is now is probably the only place that I can actually get it. Cattle grid, cattle grid, cattle grid. Didn't feel it. I'm going over here. I'm not going off road, he says. I'm not going off road. Oh no, I can't go off road. No, I ain't going. Oh bloody hell! I ain't going up there. Ah! Oh, there's big holes here. Oh yeah, here. Oh bloody hell! Oh. That was a bad idea, Tony. What did you do that for, you dickhead? Oh, the speedrun video as well. I'd like to discuss that a bit. Uh, all the haters, yeah, pissed them off. All the people who wanted to see me dead, yeah, pissed all them off. All the people who didn't want to really see the build, who didn't really give a shit about the build, didn't really give a shit about anything else but me sitting there opening the throttle up fully, yeah, pissed them off. Mission accomplished. I'm going to go back up Brockton. It's a nice big hill. This is rather a steep hill. Oh shit. Better not pull a wheelie when a car's coming. <laughs> Fuck. That could have ended badly. <laughs> Uh, I was a bit heavy on the throttle then, and I, I normally leave it just skipping on the <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Fucking hell! This is what I rammed a car into a tree somewhere up here. Uh, people dead. It was a marina. Most of my cars were marinas. It was a marina, and somebody said to me, "Oh, what's up there?" I think we, we actually bought it between us. There was about uh, five of us. I think we only paid seventy-five quid. Anyway, I was the only one who was insured to ride it, drive it. So, we were driving round in this thing and ripping it apart as you do when you've got a marina. Uh, well, most of it fell off itself. Towards the end of the night, when people had sprayed ACAB all over the sides of it and all over the windows and God knows what, 
uh, I decided that I can't take it home to park it on my drive so I'll, just to finish it off I'll dent the front end well I eat a tree, I have no word of a lie I eat a tree at about 5 mile an hour and the engine ended up, it comes through the bloody, uh, through the firewall, through the bulkhead, whatever it is, and it actually landed in the middle of the car. Smashed the shit out of it, it did. So we had to tow it, because there's no way it would run. It never used to properly run anyway. And I only ever got 60 out of that thing. What a piece of shit. The Morris Marina, ladies and gentlemen. Probably the worst car ever made. That's why I had so many of them. Because they were so bloody cheap. You used to get him, get him one, drive it out the scrapyard, drive it round for a couple of months, cost you 20 quid, drive it round for a couple of months, straight back down the scrapyard, drive another one out, and that's how I lived my life for the first, what, five years of driving? When I first started driving, I had a classic Morris Minor. Absolute mint condition. It was my grandmother's. And I loved that. I went also, uh for the people who have, you've, you've made a very happy person. Uh, Gap Recordings, Namibia. Oh! My God, I said it the first time. Charles is over the moon that he's had. I think he's about 30 or 40 subscribers since I mentioned him. And I'm so happy. It makes me happy with people, things like that. Uh, people like that actually do deserve. They deserve a lot of subscribers. I mean, you, you people, you don't realise what goes into making a video, how much time and effort and editing and... I mean, if I say fuck now, I have to cut it out, but there's sometimes that it doesn't actually work, so I have to go and find another piece to put in between it and... Yeah. It takes a long time. It probably takes me about four hours every video to edit it. Four hours that I could be doing something else like masturbating and stuff I don't know where I'm going but I sure know where I've been but I've made up my mind I ain't wasting no more time because here I go again never understood what that means protective gloves proper biking jacket because it was a bit cold it's about 13 degrees today so I'm glad I put it on my legs are a bit bloody cold now armour glasses may I take this time to uh, uh, pronounce the, uh, the sponsor of today's video which is my fucking pocket there's a man up there in a white coat. Why is there a man up there in a white coat? And why is he waving at me? I'm a bit worried. Oh, has he just murdered someone? just killed someone. I'm not looking. 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 Bloody hell. That was a bit worrying. <laughs> it's just a bloke with one of them bloody ones he's on. Look like he was doing you know, the spray things. Or you've just murdered someone. I'm about half a mile away from nowhere and there's a bloke standing there with a onesie on. A bloody weirdos. The people who were, who were talking about version 4 and some people were saying make it two wheel drive. No. I've said this quite a, quite a few times with all my comments and everything else and I used to put it in the header and everything, the description. Putting a front wheel drive on a bike to me is dangerous. There's a reason why motorbikes are one wheel drive. Uh, the front end is designed to stop you, it's not designed to pull you along. So, putting a wheel on the front, I've seen bad things happen like stanchions bent, rip the bloody front end off, and, and you know, it's just not worth the bloody risk. Yeah, you may, you may get. You may get more torque, but I, I, just, I mean this thing. When you open it up, you're on the back wheel anyway. There's no, there's just you get no traction off the front, even if I was to put a motor on it. So no, I am not making it two wheel drive. It will be one wheel drive. I don't know if it's going to be a hub motor. I don't know if it's going to be mid drive. I don't know how yet. 
ideally I want a hub motor because of the simplicity there is only one moving part you don't got to worry about a chain or anything else like that Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go back home and analyse what's what, see if everything's still attached and see if everything's still working. So I'll catch you next time. And remember, life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you've got to do is get out there, find the thing that you enjoy and do it every day and bollocks to what anybody else thinks.